So my name is Elizabeth Harder, and I'm a Star Scout in 1885, and I'm also a junior at Palmyra High School, which is like just outside of Lincoln. And this is my story. When I was little, after a meeting, I remember my mother telling me, hurry up, I need to take the boys to their camp out. My response was to defiantly ask, why do Nate and Daniel always get to go to the fun campouts? My mother's response was, because they're in Boy Scouts. So, me being little, I responded with, why can't I be? She responded with, because you're a girl. See, I have two older brothers who went through Boy Scouts, and every time they came home from a camp out, they would show me all the cool things they had learned. Of course, like any typical sibling, uh, they had the, ha, I know something you don't. And they loved shoving it in my face. Um, one memory I have was when Nate got his first pocket knife. I remember sitting on the back porch of the house and him teaching me the concept of the blood circle, which is a safety practice taught in scouting. At that moment, I remember just wishing that I could learn it too. My brother Nate was in venturing, and when I finally figured out that venturing was co-ed, I decided right then and there that when I turned 14, I was going to join in. I was finally going to get my chance to join those amazing campouts and learn new things. With my venture crew, Crew 21, I've gotten to try out Civil War, World War II, and Renaissance reenacting. Everything I did, I enjoyed, and I fell in love with Civil War reenacting and have since joined a reenacting group here in Omaha called the First Nebraska. Um, I learned many new things, but there was still a piece of something missing. I wanted to learn how to build a fire and how to survive. But most of all, I wanted to learn the skills that my brothers had attained through merit badges. When my mom told me that BSA was allowing girls to join in on scouting, my thoughts went from disbelief to hope to excitement. I realized how many opportunities had opened up for me, and the one that I made my goal was to reach the rank of Eagle Scout. This is my goal, so a group of girls from around Omaha and I teamed up and started a troop. Our troop is not linked to a boys troop, which means a little bit more work for us, but we managed to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and work to make the experience a reality. My mom scheduled me for four different camps based on what troops she knew. So I, what troops she knew so I could have a, a bunch of different camp experiences just like my brothers had. We picked classes based on merit badges each camp did that was unique to get the widest variety of experiences. This summer was a whirlwind of packing, camping, repacking, and more camping. Uh, <laughs> my first trip was to Camp Arrowhead in Missouri. I knew this would be a different experience than 4-H camp when I arrived at the meeting spot in Kansas City. Troop, troop 10 had chartered a bus to take us all to camp, which I thought was cool and rather convenient since they have like these compartments underneath. So you didn't have to like open up a trailer to get all your stuff. He just reached under and got it. <laughs> the best part of camp was how friendly and welcoming the staff were to the troop and encouraged us to try everything. Like, they wanted us to try absolutely everything. They were very, very nice about it. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I took the mountain biking merit badge, which seems perfectly natural since I have BMX experience, but since I am much shorter than the average male scout, me being 5'1 since 8th grade, um, I really had to stretch to use the bike and it was not that easy. Uh, I was barely able to touch the ground with anything but like the tips of my toes. So that was a uh, kind of scary at times. <laughs> Um, the second camp I went to was Camp Cornhusker in southeast Nebraska. My best friend Rachel from my troop joined me, and we were paired with four girls from Troop 25. I didn't know them, but we had friends in common. The first day, their scoutmaster Todd said, we need to figure out who would be SPL, uh, which is senior patrol leader, for those of you who don't know, for the girls. I was surprised, but since none of the others wanted it, I gladly accepted the position. At the end of camp, Todd told me I had done a fantastic job making sure all the girls knew where they needed to be 
where bleh, knew what they needed to know before they needed to know it and where they needed to be before they needed to be there. Um, he also thanked me for helping the scouts have a great first summer camp experience. After that, I went on to Camp Cedars here in Mid-America Council with my Troop 1885. I participated in the trades program, which included visit, site visits to union halls and covered eight merit badges, including metalwork, truck transportation, electricity, woodworking, surveying, plumbing, American labor, and welding. Every day was a blast. I got to make several cool things to bring home and try new skills. Lastly, I went to Piercing Arrow at H. Row Bartle Scout Reservation in Missouri with Troop 612. I loved their waterfront and was a huge fan of the lake and all the programs they had down there. But I also loved the ecology and conservation merit badges just as much. Uh, in the ecology lodge, there was a ball python named Naboo, and he was my favorite. He was very nice. Um, every camp was different, but yet they're all teaching us useful, useful skills. I earned 20 merit badges this summer and got a good start on a number of others. The most significant thing I learned about merit badges themselves is that they ensure you know the safety precautions of an activity and first educate you on the very real risks of it, then they teach you how to do said task. It, pro it provides a glimpse of what it can be and the steps to make it into a career. My favorite merit badge was welding, and I got to experience it for myself at Camp Cedars. We talked about safety and career options, especially the apprenticeship program. I actually changed my class schedule on the third day of school so I could take welding, and I'll be on one of my school's welding teams this spring. I would never have enrolled in my school's welding class or discovered my passion for it if I hadn't taken the merit badge. My classmates and I went on a college tour at Southeast Community College in Lincoln, and one thing we got to see was their welding shop. I loved it. It was like, it was very nice. <laughs> um, they talked about how there were different types of welding and I was fascinated and really excited to hear them mention artistic welding. I'm really enjoying learning and I'm looking forward to a career in welding. I'm looking forward to a career in welding whether I go through the apprenticeship program or go to college for it. I'm so grateful I got the chance and that scouting opened me up to so many new opportunities. The best part of scouting is camp and I got to squish what is normally four years of experience into this one amazing eventful summer. But the real heroes are the leaders and staff members who make it possible for all of us scouts. I'm so thankful I got the chance and look forward to what I can do to help others. I'm applying to be one of those heroes at Bartle and work as camp staff next summer. I'm overjoyed for the opportunity to spend my summer in this way and look forward to new, more exciting experiences in my future.